Five people connected to the American Legion Post 330 in New Haven are facing federal charges. They are accused of pocketing bingo money that was supposed to go to the Post and paying volunteers who worked the games. News Channel 15's Elizabeth Fields has been digging into this case today. And Elizabeth, you say this involves a lot of money over a period of several years. Right, Mark and Heather. Those court documents show that these volunteers have been actually getting paid for at least five years, and those illegal payments add up to close to a million dollars. The Indiana Gaming Commission says Lana Brooks, who allegedly managed the bingo games, her husband and post trustee Kenneth Brooks, Stephen Baust, another alleged bingo manager, John Gahan, a former post finance officer, and James Schultz, the current finance officer, are all involved. According to court documents, the investigation started back in the spring when state officials were tipped off that something illegal might be happening at the post. Records show Gahan told investigators on that on Monday mornings the Post Finance Committee would meet and two white envelopes were each filled with $1,000. They were intended for Lana Brooks and Baust. Then a 71-year-old woman would bring the envelopes to Richard's restaurant in New Haven where they would be handed off. During stakeouts from April until June, investigators reported seeing the exchange and then confiscated the envelopes. All five are facing Class C or D felonies. Lana, Kenneth, Gahan, and Baus have their initial court appearance tomorrow morning. Now, as of this afternoon, the 71-year-old woman is not facing any charges. The post commander, Vern Criswell, told investigators he didn't know anything about the payments. And when I contacted the post this afternoon, the woman who answered the phone there told me no one there has any comment. Reporting live tonight from News Control, I'm Elizabeth Fields, News Channel 15.